How's it going everyone and hope you're doing well. Welcome to this uh, unboxing video and boots review of the new uh, these are the Namus Signature colorway, the newest version of the Puma Future uh, 7s. These are the Ultimate Edition, so the top ends of the boots. Puma have also brought out a pro, uh, not pro, a match editions of these, so the lowest tier as well. And for sure they will bring out a pro editions but the Pro Editions, the middle tier, always comes out a week or two weeks after. So do look out for that if you're looking for the Pro Editions. Um, look on the Puma website and you'll be able to get them in one or two weeks time. Or you can watch our review, which we'll do in the future. Um, so stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. If you're going for the Match Editions, then you can already get them. They are available on the Puma website. Um, so make sure to have a look over there, even on third party football boots websites, you'll be, you'll be able to get a pair, um, on there too. But for the Puma Future 7 Ultimates, these are the top tiers of these football boots, which come with a string bag, um, which is really nice. Uh, some Ultimate Editions don't, but with these ones, because maybe it's a special edition or a signature colorway for Neymar, um, they will come with a string bag. So you don't need to buy your own one um, and pay another extra 10, 15 pounds or euros for a Puma string bag. Now, when it comes down to feet types and sizing, these are fairly similar to the other colorways of the Puma Future 7 Ultimates. Um, in fact, um, we would say basically it's about the same um, when trying them on initially straight away um, from the unboxing. So... As you would know, Puma Futures, they are very accommodating for all feet types. Um, the most accommodating in the Puma line over the Kings and Ultras. So for narrow to normal feet types, we recommend going a half to one size down to get that tighter snug fit, um, especially in the heel area, which is designed for the comfort and reducing blisters. We were unable to even feel the heel cushion because of how big the boots were. Even though we were going for our... Um, normal Puma sizing. Um, we still felt that there was a lot of space in the midfoot area, toe box and um, heel cushion. So if you have narrow to normal feet types, especially narrow feet, go uh, half to one size down um, And in, in terms of how you feel comforts when you try them on. If you like it really snug, then maybe one size down. And if you like to have a bit more space on the toe box and midfoot area, then go a half size down. Um, for normal feet, again, we definitely go half size down. Uh, because they're going to have a lot of space in the midfoot and toe box area. Um, and if you plan to wear these boots without the laces, then for narrow to normal feet types, then it's probably best to go one full size down from your usual Puma sizing, footwear sizing, uh, because you want to have a strong lockdown, um, stability with the boots, and also for the boots to not fall off when you're playing with them. So one full size down if you're going laceless with these. Um, and then for uh, wide feet, we recommend going true to size for these, because again, for the toe box area, midfoot is so wide and designed for that, for the surface area um, of striking the ball and control, um, kind of like the playmaker that wears these boots or someone that creates, um, you know, assists or creates something out of nothing. Um, so that's why it's designed to be more targeted for wide and very wide feet because of the wider surface area, as you can see on the toe box. So if you have wide feet, go true to size for these and it should fit you nicely. And we recommend even for very wide feet, go true to size because they're going to fit you really nicely. Probably give you a nice snug or close to snug fits for very wide feet. Um, and they're going to feel very, very nice and comfortable. When you're using these boots as well, we recommend to use them at least a week because the upper is very soft, but the material hasn't fully softened up yet. Um, and just for you to get used to the boots itself of training, like shooting, passing and training with friends or alone individually, then it's best to yeah, use at least a minimum of week of use uh, before you take them into something fast paced and competitive like a match or midweek football five, seven aside. Um, do give it at least a week use. We wouldn't recommend taking them out of the box and use them straight away for a match. Um, but that's just our recommendation. Of course, people are different, um, but just is just to reduce injuries and also for you to get used to the boots itself. Uh, but yeah, make sure to leave a comment down below what you think of these boots, um, pros and cons. If you have this colorway or previous colorway, do you like the tape, um, PWRC tape being in the middle um, to give you that nicer lockdown and stability of the boots when running and shooting with them? Or do you find it, it doesn't really make too much difference with it being in the middle or the side from the previous editions of last year? 
Um, do comment down below and let us know what you think. Um, and also the sizing. Um, yeah, it really helps out people when they're looking to upgrade or get, get a new pair of foot boots. It really helps them out. And these sole plates, again, can be worn on FG and AG pitches. So you can wear them on artificial grass, 3G, 4G. Uh, but do give them a week's use on the AG pitches just to get used to the boots itself. Um, and yeah, for the for you to get used to the sole plates um, on AG um, Astro Grass. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this unboxing and review. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave the video a like and to subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time for another unboxing and review in the near future. All the very best and take care.